that reminded me of how I think it was like 10th grade. I had to write some short story about one thing or another for an English class. I don't re really remember the context, but because I didn't feel like making something up and I fucking hated writing, I literally just wrote down the plot to Half-Life. Yo, what I the did the fuck? same thing with Shawshank Redemption. I gotta, I gotta see. <laughs> well, how did you get away with Shawshank Redemption? That's like incredibly well known. I got in trouble. That's a <laughs> oh, you got in trouble? That's I literally, I wrote down the, the, I, I literally wrote down Shawshank Redemption. I, I changed the names and I called it like a spoon and a wall or something. And then like, and the teacher came to me like, <laughs> oh so, that's how he gets out, right? He like. Yes, but that's such a. Title. I wish it was called that. Oh, hey, man. hey, hey! If you're if you're good at graphic design or you're an artist, that's an activity for you. Edit the <laughs> edit the poster to Shawshank Redemption to be spoon and all. And the teacher a came up to me. A like, house in production. <laughs> a week later, and she was like, "Have you seen the movie Shawshank Redemption?" And I was like, "Yeah." And she was like. And she's like, yeah, your story is very s similar to it. And I was she like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got yeah. yeah. You didn't deny it? Oh, you were a good boy. You were not, yeah. you were not a good I... boy. I came up with it myself. I took a... I got, I got, I got like a... You're just a genius like a... child. You're I got so like a C minus. I got a when C I minus school, and I called it like half a life. When I was in high school... Half a life? Yeah. That doesn't even make sense. <laughs> I did, look. It was tenth grade. I did not give a shit. When I was a, when I was in high school, I also had a creative writing class, and towards the end of the class, and I was like, I was I was jealous that I wasn't doing this. The teacher didn't care what we wrote so long as it was original. Quote, you know, air quotes original. And I found mm. out like these two kids, they were like, yeah, we've just been like. Googling the lyrics for raps and copying them, <laughs> and, and you're like, and, and the teacher was like so impressed. He was like, "Wow, you guys are, so you guys, wow, you guys are so good at writing raps." <laughs> it's like, oh God, my damn, God. I think about it. Like, I never, I never like plagiarized like that. The closest thing that I ever had is like one time I had a really, really old teacher, and there was a rumor. There was a rumor that he wouldn't check more than the first page of any essay you had to do for him. So I did an essay where I wrote a real first page, and then for the rest of the pages, I just typed complete bullshit. The, the paper, I've told this story before, but the paper was about like, it was supposed to be like recapping a video we watched about like, like about the history of the 1980s or something like that. And the first page was just recounting like the first few minutes of the video, and then the second, pa the second page was like, uh, the, the Mr. Bobar technique was used in all movies to build the Golden Gate Bridge, and then I just copy and pasted a Wikipedia article, and I got an A. He, he did not <laughs> get any page yeah. after the first one. That's a That's shit. So I, I, I like doing the creative writing stuff. I'd write, like, little fantasy stories and stuff. I love I remember, creative writing. You, I remember you, make, in, you make a comic book now. Of course I you like that shit. I remember, I remember in... Uh, in eighth grade, I made a a comic version of Romeo and Juliet for a school project, and it was it was like it was like hell on earth because it was like thirty pages to do. I remember uh, for a big creative writing project when I was in fourth grade. It was like my final in fourth grade, which is nothing because you're in fucking fourth grade. But I remember it being like the last big project for writing class, uh, and I wrote a story called Dak and the Beanstalk, and it was ex. It literally was just Jack and the Beanstalk Dak. if Jack was a duck. And his name was Jack. Nice. <laughs> That's sick. Uh, uh, I hated cre I hated writing in general just I because I'm I'm very I think I'm I very have that story in this house. That'd be awesome. I'm very, I'm very short, sweet, sweet and to the point. I don't like when, whenever I had a project, it was like, okay, you have to do like 500 words. It was like, fuck, what the fuck? Why do I have to put so many words? I can get to the point in 100. I hated that shit. If I had something else to put on the screen while I wasn't in the room, I would go look for it and read it. I think I know where it is. Cause I still, it's I have in my your own. house. You, you remember the pictures I used to send you guys of my old like fourth grade creative writing book that has like a paper like a print like a printer paper cut out of Shadow the Hedgehog on it, and like no I don't. You know that I've sent pictures of that shit before. There's like I mean I'm not doubting you. It. I probably just don't remember. <laughs> I thought see right, making charts sucks. Hope he wins. I want to I want to go to BRB and really quickly I want to go see if I can find this book and read Dak and the Beanstalk.
I'm pretty sure I know where it is. Okay. We're all nighters are the kind of thing that like seem fun until you like do them as an adult, and then it's like, fuck, I just want to, I don't want to do this. Like, well, when you're an adult, it's different. Sleep. When you're young, when you're like 19 and younger, an all nighter has very few consequences. When you're yeah, a full grown true. adult, almost like almost 30 years old, an all nighter, you might as well have been beaten half to death. All right, yeah, I like if, if I'm forced to stay up all night, like it's bad. I have a limited one of the possible spots it could be in. Uh, I'm not gonna try too much harder because I could be here all night, but I don't own that much stuff. Nope. Sometimes I think, sometimes I think about missing school, and then I think, no, I don't. You found it? Yeah, found it. I don't miss school. I definitely don't miss public school. I like college, and I feel like I did kind of like. I feel like as an adult now, I think about like, you know, I probably should have tried a little harder in college. Like it all worked out. I got a job and everything, but it's like, man, I, I was paying a lot of money to go learn stuff. And I spent a lot of time goofing off instead of learning stuff. See, that's the thing is I fucked around entirely in high school. And if I had actually gone to college, that would have been the thing of like, all right, I can't fuck around anymore. I'm spending a lot of money to do this. I like actually get something out of this. I can't be fucking around anymore. All right, let me see if it's in here. I also just miss, I do miss just like living with like several friends. I don't, I wouldn't go back to doing that now. I'm very happy with my Damn, I was looking for a place too. But it was kind of, it, it's fun. It's fun to just like live in a house with three of your friends. Like that's just kind of like. That. I live do that like old. once. You do that for like a, a week out of the year now. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I'm looking through. I love that. <laughs> what? I'm looking through my creative writing book to find this story. And I'm, surprised I, you brought that, I'm surprised you brought that with you. Yeah, it's yeah, like, honestly. Look, listen, I'm going to flash it on screen for a sec and not, not show you the whole thing because there's like, there's like personal pictures on there, like family pictures. But the, like, here's why I keep this. Look at this fucking thing. Do you see Shadow the Hedgehog on there? It's so funny. Like, <laughs> it, this is this is the one Fuck thing yes. I have from like when I was a little okay. kid. I don't have any other like, you know, what would you call them? like I, I don't have any other relics from when i was a kid like okay so let me let me open up in here does this uh, have the story about sh you getting shadow's shoes in it no that was no that was that wasn't a story i wrote that was like a dream i had that was, oh, was right it was I a wanted dream when i was like a kid uh okay let, let's read the very first thing in my book this is september 2nd what year would this have been when was i in fourth grade i write the year down in here anywhere uh, 2005. It, let's see. Uh, there's useful information in the back. There's a multiplication table. Okay. Uh, <laughs> very useful. The very first story is from September 2nd. I was having a good time playing my video games, and I remembered that tomorrow was the first day of school. I was worried a bit and excited and the rest of the day. When tomorrow some, I was any excited and had a great day. Now I'm having no worries at all, except for the bus. And I am having a great school year. Fourth grade is the best. So there you have it. I was a fourth grade. There you go. Uh, Not really see. creative writing, more of like a journal. No, I mean like some, it, was, it wasn't It was all creative writing. Like this, this was like my writing book for the entirety of fourth grade. Oh shit, I think it was 2005. I think, 2005? I think my guess was right. It probably would have been a- <laughs> Was that like that, 16 right? years ago? Hey, I'm, I just want to hold this one up to the camera. Look at this. Can you read that? Is that mirrored? No, you can't read that. It's small. <laughs> look at, it's look really at that. small. I can't oh, read it. Here. I can make it bigger. Uh, <laughs> hey, same. Go ahead and, and read that. My favorite foods, cake, pizza, burgers, ice cream, chicken. And then the note from the teacher is don't waste space. Use whole paper. <laughs> that, this is the <laughs> what does it even be? <laughs> You're supposed to. I don't know. I don't, don't waste, waste paper space. Each you one. didn't waste space. Do I There's... have that many favorite foods? Do I have one, two, well, three, probably, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine? We'll ten. probably just uh, write the next thing on that page too. What's the next uh, thing in your in yeah. your journal? Let's see. Going down uh, memory lane here. What? <laughs> what is this? 
describe or our describe or piece list, and it also says don't waste paper. <laughs> describe <laughs> or don't piece waste list. Paper. <laughs> This is uh, making me want to go find my Glover journal. Don't oh, waste yeah. paper on these, <laughs> on these imaginary lists. Oh my god. Okay, so this is from September 8th. I, I must have had like a, a specific question that I was answering with this one, but I did not actually write what the question was. But my answer was, I would buy video games and game equipment if I had enough allowance. Oh, so that was it. What would you do if you had okay. a lot of allowance? One thing I would buy... No, it just says, one thing would be a PSP if I saved enough money. Also, Twisted Metal, a game for PSP. Nice. Uh, likes, <laughs> video games. <laughs> I wonder if that still applies. Friends, parentheses, they rule. Writing, I wonder if that life. still applies. The game of swimming? What does that say? <laughs> oh, you the like, game like of swimming. life. That's what it says. I, I wrote life, and then on the next line I wrote the game of, and then an arrow pointing up at it. Uh, karate, <laughs> music, chocolate, Spongebob, music. <laughs> it's on there twice. <laughs> uh, dislikes, school, not really. Red Sox, White Sox, Marlins. <laughs> what? <laughs> Marvin? I don't know. I think this is the point in my life where I was like tricked into thinking I liked baseball. So I said that yeah. I didn't like the Red Sox because I loved the Yankees. Um, let's see. Uh, I see. Dislikes, more. Spinach, Bossily, vegetables, <laughs> only some, dry <laughs> heat, being grounded, medicine, going to dentist. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah. You are like the perfect fourth grade child. Yeah. Yeah, you, you, you yeah. exemplified all fourth graders across the universe. Every cartoon was about see, you. I want everyone to see how I spelled, uh, bros broccoli. Bros brossily. Like tubbles. I don't know why I wrote dry heat when humidity is the one that Brazil. 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 Uh, okay, September 8th. Uh, this is, this is like some, like, must have, I don't know if this is a poem or creative writing. I wrote it really weird. Like, look at, look at, look at how I wrote this one. Like, look at, look at how much space here. It just, like, drifts into the middle until I'm, like, writing kids writing, though. Like, that happens. <laughs> everybody i think <laughs> let's read this one i don't know what this is the dust the dust specks flying around look like little live creatures they look like they're scared of me looking for something i noticed there was a big wall of them kind of trying to protect me and then they soon started attacking me my, <laughs> my shirt what? is what they were looking for it was like i was magnetic some were rising up, some were going down, some were rushing all over the place to get somewhere but no matter where they're going they're still what does that say? They're, they're still crazy? <laughs> I can't read the last line. They're still crepe? Creepy, maybe? I don't know. Creepy. I guess, I guess when, I was, when I was a fourth grader, I thought dust was creepy. Oh, no, it goes on to a second page. I don't know what that word is that's supposed to be creepy. I guess I just forgot to erase that. Uh, then it says, all the same. A lot were surrounding my shirt like it was their emperor. When they left the sunlit, they disappeared. Who knows? Maybe they are alive. Is dust alive? Important questions of fourth grader. Oh my Is god. Is dust alive? <laughs> this one's called. Is dust alive? This, this, one, oh, this, this one's called lunchtime. In the cafeteria, we talk, eat, maybe even laugh. And the, t the teacher <laughs> yeah, points at that and says, I hope so. It is fun to be in the cafeteria with your friends. It's a good time to express yourself, but at the end of lunch, you always feel better than beginning. Uh, and then <laughs> there's a real. haiku! There's the, the, at the bottom is a haiku, it specifically says 575 on the side, and it says, In the haunted house, the Grim Reapers will chase you, but they are so <laughs> fake. <laughs> they are so fake. That's so fake. They are so <laughs> fake. <laughs> this is the next page! New version! And I didn't finish it. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> New virgin. What what I did write is in the haunted house the Grim Reapers will chase you, but I couldn't think of a new version. That was I perfected it. You know, being a being a grade school teacher probably sucks a lot in this day and age for a lot of reasons, but having unfettered access to just like kid thoughts 
Oh, you can yeah. use like two like, kids like, all right, time to do a writing assignment. Write anything you want, and then you just get to read it. Like, like that like, shit seems fun. Th th there's a, there's a, like a Tumblr or something that I like archive stuff like that, and then there's like bad kids jokes. It's fucking awesome. Yeah. All right. I bet uh, I bet teachers get a lot of short stories about how someone wants to play Fortnite. This one is called My Enemy. Uh oh. I looked into uh -oh. the mirror. Something was staring at me. I said, "How do you do?" <laughs> it was my and enemy. And he said it back to me with no sound. I said, why can't you talk? And he said that too. Then I yelled, talk, and he yelled back to me with no sound. Soon I was so mad, I rammed him, and he did too. We were both hurt, and soon I punched the mirror, and it broke. The enemy was soon. gone. But then, I, but then I started to see the enemy in water and other shining things. I tried anything to get rid of the enemy, but nothing worked. So I once tried to jump into the mirror, and I went through. It was a whole other world. Right in front of me was a dinosaur. To be continued. <laughs> <laughs> what was it a dinosaur? I don't know. It's to be continued. Maybe we'll see it later. Dude, that is some goosebump shit. You jump yeah, in the mirror, and there's a goosebumps. dinosaur for some reason. You actually hit your head so hard you had a concussion. OK. Like here's, some Don Quixote a, shit. here's a list of things I want. It just says, it just says list. You. It just says list at the top. Uh, but I imagine these are things I want. Car, job, house, cell phone, live in Florida, private bank. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you need a private bank? Own, Wait, hold on. Own Disney World is the next one. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course. And then pinball, pinball machine. <laughs> How many of these have you, have you gotten? What I wonder about. Why are we forced to go to school? Why we were made? Why spinach <laughs> is a food? <laughs> <laughs> Why is it not something else? I don't know. Why is it not a drink? Okay, this one at the top says, what you? And then it says, job at Disney World. I really would like a job at Disney World because I think I'd improve the park with my kindness. I'd also like on my days <laughs> off can since I would work there, I could get in for free. I'd ride the rides and rides and have fun. If I would have any job, it would be this. <laughs> did you did you go to Disney well, World you, as a yes, kid? And it... Yes, I went to Disney World when I was like five and I loved it. Yeah. It was awesome. You can uh, I can tell. Next you're up is a list that you're says improving things, Twitch.tv with your kindness. Things I had. People walking, cars starting, doors closing, shower water, rain when it hits the ground, me falling, chocolate crunching, leaves crunching, pool splash. My sister, Rice crispy Snacks, Crapple Pop. Sacks, my thoughts, mind trying to stop thinking. I don't know what that is. What? <laughs> I don't know what that is. What? <laughs> I don't know. Is that like, like song those, lyrics? You're one of those you guys remember? leaving the journals behind in Resident Evil. Do you remember that Tumblr post from a while, like just a few weeks ago, where it was like, Here's a picture of my fifth grade journal. Can you tell I had unmedicated ADHD? And it was like, it, it, it said like the cons, and then it just had like a like a perfect IMDb logo next to it, and that was the entire <laughs> notes. Like, it reminds what? me of that. Uh, zero G, floating in space is like nothing else because you can't float way down on Earth. Don't lose control or you'll fly away. Just hope you float to Earth. Or another planet, or you'll be zero G history. <laughs> nice. But if you do float to Earth, you'll fall and fall down, unlikely to be something soft there. <laughs> unlikely to be something soft there. Keep an eye out. Things nice I see. bars. Pasta. Greg waving his pencil. Highlighter juice bubble. Calvin. Chicken. Ellis. Greg. Ryan C. Me. Greg. Travis. <laughs> I don't know. Names. People I know. Right now, I would like he to be knew. at Disney World. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if you wanted to go to Disney I feel, World. I feel like maybe we should stop taking kids to Disney World. It appears to have like some kind of profound, like mental. Hey, when I wrote this, I was eight. I was eight years old. Like I was eight, and I went to Disney World when I was like five or six, and I never got to go back. Yeah, you're so... thinking about it three years later. It was dope. It was Can't funny. Can't stop thinking about it. All right, so let's read this one. Turn into a kid that hates spinach. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I like spinach now. So I've grown. I've grown. Uh, right now, I would like to be at Disney World. I love Disney World so much, especially because of Space Mountain. If I owned Disney World, I'd put in a big ride called Mickey Speed. <laughs> 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 a roller uh -oh. coaster that went upside down, and the loop would look like Mickey's silhouette. 
It would go 1,000 feet high and 200 miles per hour. It would also use zero G producers to make it go <laughs> off the track and go back <laughs> on the track. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You would also go into an underwater dome. It would also circle the entire park. It would end right after a jump. Can someone make that like a VR chat world or something? Okay, this one this one has apples, bananas, cats, dogs, eternity, fire, Greg, heaven, ice cream, Jack, Kalamazoo, Lasso, myself, Noah, O, Pi, Quadding, Rare Things, S, T, U, and V are blank, and then wolves, X is blank, and then Yen. What? People you know. I don't- I, I think I had to come up with what- everything for everything in the alphabet. I can't believe for R, my choice was rare things. Really? What's next? Where's Dak? Alright, so this one has like, happy faces, and then a word underneath them. When I go to Yankee Stadium. When I go to a movie with my friend. When I fished with Mr. Cole. I have no idea who that is. Uh, when I play Star Fox Assault with my friends and win, lots of laughs is in parentheses. <laughs> LOL. Lots of laughs. <laughs> when I wish my chairs were done, and there's a frown. What? Your chairs? Oh, you know. I don't know what this page is. You guys just have to look at this one. The Howler or the Howl or the Wolf or the Pack of Wolves. Okay. I think I was going to write a story about wolves. In All right, your... Shell Silverstein. Home or the room down story. there in the living room. All right, next I wrote a story called The Wolves of Dread. The wolf jumped onto my chest. I took my short, I took my torch and waved it. The wolf backed up and then it howled and 10 other wolves showed up. Well, I am going to tell you what happened first. And that's the end. <laughs> <laughs> you got, you got eaten. The wolf got you. My you room. Got this story is called My Room. My room is the best. You'll always have fun. My favorite place to be, all because of what it has. A TV and a computer make it extra fun. I have such a comfortable bed. That was like a sick room. Those are all the thoughts hey, that just go through no, my head. On my room when I was a kid was fucking sick. It was, it was crazy. If everyone on Earth wore the same clothes, we'd all get confused who is who. If someone took them off, everyone would take them off. Whose is whose? Where is mine? And if we did, we would keep the same clothes on forever and be really hot in the summer or be really cold in the winter and soon the earth would be wiped out. I, I got a emoji. I got what? a emoji. Yep. I don't know. What? I don't know. I don't know. This... <laughs> we, we would die of being cold. Is the, is All right, the so I, I'd like I to see. preface this next story by saying around the time I was in fourth grade, I was fucking obsessed with Kingdom Hearts. This is absolutely, really? this one is absolutely inspired by Kingdom Hearts. The fate of the earth in every heart lies a bit of darkness, and someday, it will... <laughs> and someday it will overwhelm us, and then someone must determine the fate of the earth, and that person will have a very slight chance that he is overwhelmed, but if he makes the right choice with the overwhelmed, will try to destroy him, but with his heart's power, nothing will destroy him. He will risk his life to save the earth, and he will be a legendary hero that will never be forgotten. He will be remembered forever, and if it happens again, a new hero is born. I just imagine your teacher reading these entries every day. Is <laughs> oh yeah, oh, it's, uh, it's spinach, Brazil. All right, and the heart of it, in the in the heart of darkness. In every heart <laughs> of the darkness. I, I am sorry, John. First time chat. They say Dora and Giku. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right, next up. <laughs> oh, this is the continuation of the Wolves of Dread. It's not over. This is part two. Oh. I am Roy. I was exploring the woods of darkness alone and I found a cave. The cave was dark as a world. What? <laughs> what? The cave was dark as a world. My spear made of darkness. What? I, hold on, I'm having a hard time reading. You this suddenly one... became very obsessed with darkness. No, like, look, this one has just like weird fucking like arrows and scribbles all over it and I can't tell what's going on here. Okay, hold on. Okay, no, here's, here's, here's I think what it's supposed to say. The cave was dark as a world made of darkness, which is fucking stupid. That's a terrible line. I dropped <laughs> my spear. I was about to enter the cave when a dark object with yellow eyes glaring at me and it wolves jumped out and attacked me. It was one of the wolves. 
I reached for my spear and tried to hit the wolf and miss. I was about to claw my face. What? <laughs> <laughs> I was about to claw my face with its razor sharp claws. Brah! He missed. It's <laughs> it says like it says like barm or something. I don't know. What <laughs> I cut I cut the wolf and I ran out from his claws. The wolf was angry and now I'm back from where I started. I wolved my torch and the wolf backed up and howled. <gasps> then in the darkness, ten more wolves surrounded me and jumped on me. Isn't this like what happened in the first part? Ten wolves? Appeared? Yeah, you get back to it. You get mauled again. Ten wolves! Something about me having to be so specific. <laughs> ten wolves showed up is so funny. <laughs> oh no, ten wolves. If this was nine, I could handle it. I couldn't see them through the fierce tree canopy. And then the teacher what? writes, so what happened? <laughs> <laughs> he was got attacked by ten wolves. What do you mean? What happened? Pay attention to the story, <laughs> Keith. Go, go back to the beginning. The wolves jumped on my chest, and I waved my torch at them. I wolved yeah. my torch. <laughs> my favorite day is Saturday. It is so great. I love it just because it's always have a great day. It's never a bad day. If it was a bad day, I'd still like the ending. It. What does that mean? It's always great on Saturday. I love it. I love it more than any day, of course. It's the best day in the universe. One day Six Flags, one day my birthday, another day vacation. And the teacher writes, yes. Revised. Yes. I love Saturdays. I can stay up. I can go out to dinner. It's the best day ever. I love to fish on Saturdays. Swimming is the best on Saturdays. They're like a day in heaven. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. All right. Ricochet. This story is called Ricochet. Wait, that's not my handwriting. Who wrote that? Someone wrote the word Ricochet at the top of this page and it's not me. Oh, this is... This must be a continuation of the Wolves of Dread. I cut the wolf fiercely by swinging my spear to the side and he got hit in the tree and got buried. This must have been before I learned punctuation or something. Like, all these <laughs> sentences are like... I think you should know punctuation by fourth grade, Wayne. I mean, I use punctuation, it's just, it's, it's that I hadn't mastered not having run on sentences. That's what it was. Yeah. Uh, I cut... Hold on. I cut the wolf fiercely by swinging my spear to the side and he hit the tree and got buried in so many leaves the tree almost was like sports, a freezing sports, winter sports, tree. Sports, sports. It also nearly ricocheted. And the teacher does write any punctuation question mark. So. <laughs> uh, show versus tell. I was in my basement at night alone and suddenly the lights went out and I saw something move. I was scared to death. And when I heard a high pitched eek, oh, is there a monster? I thought I went upstairs slowly so no one could hear me. And I grabbed my dad's nightstick and crept down the stairs. Gently, I raised the stick, and wham, I had hit the ground. Wham, squake! Same, they yelled. Wham, hit the couch. Wham, hey, I hit something, I said. I picked it up carefully. Bad move. It was my dad's new DVD. It was... <laughs> what? <laughs> What's the DVD? Oh, oh no. no. An <laughs> evil DVD? I missed the stick and swung. I fell when the lights flickered. Was that a mouse? I wondered. This time, I'll wait for the sound. Squake! I heard. I followed the sound. I did not know how to spell squeak. Uh, Wait, squeak. Suddenly the lights turned back on. Squeak, I, it said. So you were a mouse. <laughs> ha ha, yawn. I'm going to bed, I said. As I walked out, Quake. I didn't notice that something said grr. What? <laughs> huh? Oh, shut up. Great. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> exploded uh. moment. What? This story what? is called what? Exploded Moment. Welcome to the pond and swamp adjacent, he said. Welcome to the world what? that contains the lonely pond, the splendid marsh, unspoiled and wild. Welcome to sunlight and shadow, wind and weather. Welcome to water. The water is a swan's particular element, as you soon will discover. Swimming is no problem for a swan. Welcome to danger, which you must guard against. I think this isn't mine. I'm pretty sure this is from a book about swans. I think this was like... I, th I think this was like, I don't know what this was. But I, I was picturing this as like a greeter at a hotel saying all this to you. Welcome to danger. Was there a book you read when you were in like fourth or fifth grade about swans? And it might have had trumpet in the title. No. <sighs> nah, I was reading Guardians of the Hole back then. 
Oh, hey, I can look at this story and at a glance tell I wrote this about the Scarecrow from Majora's Mask. The unusual Scarecrow danced across the field with joy and happiness, free from his dark, long, and still sleep he had had. He danced and jumped <laughs> like there was no tomorrow, for now he was real. He wore some ragged clothes. They felt like sacks. I need some new clothes, he thought, but he said to himself, I'll wait till tomorrow to get new clothes. He spun and twirled and hopped like he had just gotten his lifelong dream, and he did. Life. That was what he wanted. He wanted life. Only life. Yeah, man, calm down. <laughs> Jesus. Scarecrows get could it. not live until the fairy granted scarecrows to live. <laughs> Grant me. Kim to saw the jack o' lantern glowing like the moon. I looked like <laughs> the only source of power left on the dark side of the planet. What? <laughs> I don't know what I'm reading anymore. <laughs> that that you, sounds like you've a. You transitioned like into enough to like be able to write words, but not enough to like have them make sense yeah. in probably, sequence. It's probably around the time where teachers would start saying like, alright, this is what a simile and a metaphor is. Uh, probably. Let's yeah. include them in your writing. Probably. Uh, I looked like the only source of power left on the dark side of the planet. The only sources of light, it and the moon. It seemed to make a noise, an evil screech. Screech! Then a howl deep in the woods. It's just a bat, Kim thought calmly, and a wolf. <laughs> Kim it's a bad animal. It's a bad animal. <laughs> she started to get calmer. The hoot made Kim jump. <laughs> Whoa, that made, made me jump. She turned around and saw, ah, she screamed. No one heard her. She was a goner. Look at this, look at this little jack-o'-lantern I drew in the corner. <laughs> That's a great jack-o'-lantern. Nice. Thanks, Drog. This story is, what do you, chat, what do you, guess what this next story is called? Uh, Jack and the Power of Juju. No. Well, your stories are so grim. Hey, hot dad. Welcome. Thanks for the raid. You just tuned in. Boo boo? Why would the story be called Boo boo? What? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. How is anybody supposed to guess? The next it could story be anything. It's called The Dark Side. If, you, if you're just tuning in, we're reading stories from my fourth grade writing book that I just found. I was walking and saw something yellow as the sun, faster than sound, just a dash of light. Or was it me? It was lighting. I think I mean, I think I meant lightning. Where am I? I thought. The lightning wiped my recent memories. It hit me, and soon I was, I, I was, I was in complete darkness. Too, too deep to figure out. I keep falling and falling. I felt a soft fall ant. What? Huh? A I felt a fall soft ant? fall onto a pebble of darkness. I don't know. Well, I can't read you this. You in fucking darkness. I loved Kingdom Hearts. What, what, what do you want yeah, from I don't, me? I don't blame you. I loved Kingdom Hearts when I was eight years old. Uh, oh, a panel of darkness. That must have been what I was trying to say. The darkness on the panel faded and the light was it. What does that mean? Soon I heard a voice. <laughs> Choose your weapon. That's literally Kingdom Hearts. That's... <laughs> <laughs> Reef, Reefer City? <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. Oh, Start man. early. Start early. Reefer City. Once Here there we was go. a city of a huge and beautiful sight. Underground and dark. High tech and everything. Great writing. Just it, and every, It's everything. It's so good. It's everything. Got it all. But it was down and upsides. Giant spiders and giant ticks. Giant wasps and lions too. But they Wait, have a child. And of everything, <laughs> including giant spiders, apparently. <laughs> but they have a child of darkness and light. Could not be made without teamwork and friendship. Oh, uh, damn, dude. <laughs> Always darkness and light. It's a, it's, it's a good story element. A little bit of everything. Yeah, yeah maybe everything. once or twice. I think every story has been about and darkness and light. light. <laughs> the tiger sprung from the underbush with his razor-sharp claws grasping for its prey and landed. For them, the tiger stalked its play. Like a turtle that was cursed to be slower than before. <laughs> that is that is definitely like my teacher said I need to come up with a simile. And I don't know what a simile is. A turtle that was That's cursed funny, killing me. A turtle to that was... be slower than before. He got close. Rising up and pounced, he pinned the prey's legs down so he wouldn't escape. Then he tried to dig his claw in, but missed. He was like a huge king, Tiger Dale-looking evil. 
<laughs> Tiger Dale? I, Tiger I, Dale. It's Dale. just like, Evil. my spelling was okay, and like, I'm really surprised you didn't try to be a furry. Well, here's the thing. I've always loved animals. Like, that's why so many of these stories about wolves, because I like dogs. Like, he, I don't know what this is supposed to say. Oh! He was like a huge king tiger devil. That's what I was supposed to write. It's it's a mix of like my handwriting is shit and like my and my spelling isn't that good. So it's hard to read sometimes. Okay. So he was like a huge king tiger devil looking evil as can be. It leapt looking like a blur. That's the whole story. Look at the tiger I drew. Look at that. Which way is the tiger spinning? <laughs> that that's is a, a worm. That's a shrimp. <laughs> That's a shrimp, <laughs> fella. I was not an artist. I've never been good at drawing. You guys yeah, know that from the stream where I've, drew, where I've drawn. This story is called Good Queen. Well, you've gotten better. Everyone's eyes turn as the queen came outside. She wore a beautiful red robe that dragged like a blanket behind her. She held a shining golden scepter with one hundreds and one hundreds <laughs> of jewels on it. She wore a graceful crown with a flame red ruby on the front and sea blue sapphire around. She stood tall and firm, her red robe dangling emeralds. Dark Queen. <laughs> now I'm writing, now the next story is called Dark Queen. The oh. Queen came. Wait, that's all it says. <laughs> look, look at the, look. See, there's like a squiggly and then the Dark Queen, the Queen came and it ends. Cause I, I was expecting to flip it over and get the, the rest of it, but the next story is about a pirate, so. <laughs> well, the Dark Queen could be a pirate, too. The pirate glared Glenn with a red, evil, bulging, sore eye. He looked as fierce Ooh. as a tiger, brave as a daredevil. That's not anything. He had a curved <laughs> blade shining in the light. He was as still as rock, but slowly, like a turtle, he was reaching for his blade. He wore a red coat, signifying his daredevil side. He also wore a bit ripped pirate cap that showed his braveness. An old eye pack. <laughs> I don't know how to smell patch. Which meant he was as brave as a leopard. Leopard. An old peg leg, which meant the same thing. A golden it's silver also tooth, the same. yellow as the sun, and as clear as water. It was clear? The tooth was clear? Good foods that you don't like and why. A lot of kids hate a lot of good foods. I hate these foods, and here's why. Any green... <laughs> <laughs> Any green food. I hate green foods because I feel like I'm eating leaves. Cauliflower <laughs> slash brussile. I hate these foods because I feel like I'm eating a flower. Yo. <laughs> Damn. No, someone made someone made the poster I wanted them to make. Fruit. I hate oh, some fruits yeah. because of the texture of some fruits. Okay. Uh now okay, now here's a phenomenon that begins happening in the in, in this book. Pay attention to the book here. We open the next page, and there is a page stapled into it, like, that unfolds for some reason. Uh, I don't know why I did that. I think maybe, I think maybe some days I, like, forgot to bring my book to class, so I just, like, I just stapled it in there. I'm surprised, like, I did this with a lot of papers, and, like, none of them have ripped out. This book is in crazy good condition. What company made this fucking book? Because they did a damn good job. Uh, it doesn't say. There is literally no indication of who made this book. Check the back. Uh, I did. Inside, I looked, inside I back. Up. I did. It's not there. Uh, okay. Free write. Rain dance. Oh my god. <laughs> this is like a chant to make it rain. Oh, can present clouds bless us soon? For we are dry and need moisture on the land. If we fail on this chant, we will perish in the light. Oh, clouds, hear my words. As you can see, we need power. End the spell and make it moist. <laughs> All right. Well, let's, let's, put this, let's put this one in the folder for using later. Please, yeah. oh, please, would you bless us and we can finish living a full life. And then it says rain falls. So it worked. We made it yes, moist. I'm glad you moist. included that as part of the chant. It worked. Uh, that page is nothing. The page is like literally nothing on it. Oh my god. Settings for fairy tile, village, castle, forest, volcano. List of fairy tale characters, Chip, Kip, and Ron. And it says main character next to each of them. 
<laughs> well, I know what the next AI dungeon stream is going to have. Dak, Dak and the Beanstalk. Oh, there it is. oh, no, it was Dak and the Cornstalk. See, it wasn't Beans. Right yeah, that's, that's legit. That's legitimate. Once upon a time, there was a male duck. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Off to a good start. There was a male duck, Dak. He was a brilliant boy, but he wasn't very <laughs> clever. He lived with his what? mother at a farm with lots of ponds. His father was out at war with tigers. <laughs> <laughs> it was a regular yeah, day a AI when, dungeon shit. <laughs> when Dak <laughs> When Dak came to Mother Quack crying. Why are you crying, Mother? Dak asked. We are out of grain and silver and have no protection, she said sadly. <laughs> we need to trade our cow. It is all we have. Dak, could you go out and trade our cow for silver or grain? She started crying again. Dak went on the path and headed towards town. It looks like you need to sell or trade that cow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Send I... a voice from behind. The fucking silver or grain is killing me. Like, <laughs> oh no, I'm out. I'm out of oats and aluminum. <laughs> <laughs> a very well-dressed iguana appeared. Yes, I do, said Dak. What do you have? I have a deal you'll have to accept. How would you like some magic corn, he said. He held out a can that reads magic corn. One can per nickel. What? Hold on. Why was, he, why was he trying to trade for silver, but there's, like, American currency? I don't know. Yeah, he has <laughs> silver and nickel. Uh, nickel min minted with silver. It's, it's okay. One can this, this is old style. One can... <laughs> I just see someone's first time chat saying we have no protection and putting that twitch mode of like a guy holding his head in his hands. <laughs> <laughs> Why, of course I'll take it, Dak said. With that, he went home. He went into his farm. Mom, Mother Quack, I just got some magic corn, he said, but being interrupted by Mother Quack. What? You traded our cow for corn? She threw out the can out the window. You silly, silly cuckoo. Boy! Oh, okay, it's Cuckoo Boy. <laughs> I turn to the next page and it's Boy in all caps. Listen, you boy. Boy, <laughs> boy go to your pond boy. right now! And with that, she cried. So Dak went outside to his pond and slept, dreaming of what that magic corn could have done. The next day, he awoke to find 12 years of corn on him. He turned and saw a huge, enormous duck lossal, made up word meaning colossal. It says that in parentheses. Oh my uh, god. <laughs> corn stalk. In case you didn't get it. Am I going insane? He said. So, deciding to touch it, he got out of the pond and preened his feathers. He approached the stalk cautiously and touched it. He wasn't insane. It was solid. It, he was sure because another ear of corn hit his head. I wonder what is at the top of there, he thought. So he decided to climb to the top. He grabbed the stalk and started climbing. Diddle dee quack dang da dee. <laughs> yeah. Okay. He sang, yeah translator's note for that one. He, he sang while <laughs> he climbed. He got to the top. He stepped on a cloud and looked in front of him. His mouth dropped at all the way to the bottom of the stalk in awe. There was a towering, wow. and I mean towering, castle on the cloud. This is amazing. But how is this possible, he said. So he went up to the door. He couldn't reach the knocker, so he searched the courtyard for a rock. Let's see here. Holy grail, no skeleton key, no emeralds, no hay, a rock. He said as he dug up things in the garden. Fuck. So he went up to the door, took the rock, and gave the door a huge whack. A tiger came out of the door calmly. That yep. was oh so starved from his big climb. Oh, you poor duck. Come inside where I shall feed you a scrumptious meal. My name is Tiger. What's yours? <laughs> this tiger said. <laughs> this the, tiger said? He said, panicked. He was frightened when he was climbing up, but seeing a real tiger made him terrified. <laughs> <laughs> He had known that the war with the tiger started 100 years ago and hasn't ended. Miss Tiger picked up <laughs> Dak and brought him inside. He's meld wonderful things. He's, he's meld them. I meant he smelled, but the S is too close to heat. He was put on a can and was... 
He was put on a can and was given a menu, just small enough but big for him to read. What would you like, she asked. Dax searched through pages and saw faux gras. What's the faux gras, he asked. Duck liver, she answered. Dak almost fainted, but I do not eat it, she admitted. I'll just have the same grain. What? <laughs> I don't know. The same brain? I'll just have the same grain. He... She went to the stove and cooked the grain, walked back and gave it to Dak. What are you cooking the grain? You're just cooking, like, raw grain? What is <laughs> grain? Like, what is it? <laughs> it's, it's don't worry eat. about it. Walked back and gave it to Dak. He ate the grain and hopped off the table. Grrr, said a voice coming from another room. Gasp, that is my brother, Tiger. If he finds you, he'll surely devour you, Miss Tiger said. She shaved Dak in a tiny cupboard and closed the door. Well, it seemed like a door to Dak. He found a crack just big enough that he could see through. Then Tiger came in. He sniffed and yelled, fee fi fo I smell the blood of a French duck. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> I'll eat him alive and use his bones as a razor. Bones is all caps. He wanted to faint again. Relax, Tiger. That is just faux gras cooking, Miss Tiger said. Oh, what? so he would eat me in one bite, Dak thought. <laughs> Tiger sat down to eat his faux gras when it was done. When he was finished, he commanded, Bring me my grain! Bring me my grain! Bring me my human! Bring me my guitar! This tiger left the kitchen and came back with grain, a tiny human, and a guitar. Puff! You know, the human is confusing me. Because, like, isn't this a world of animals? So, like, what is a human? With one human. <laughs> uh, okay, so... This tiger left the kitchen and came back with grain, a tiny human, and a guitar. Cough! He yelled at the human. It coughed up a silver egg. Play! He yelled at the guitar. Diddle dee quack dang dee dee. It played... It's a guitar. What is this? Why is it quacking? On the second dang, Tiger was knocked unconscious. My mother would what? love those things. I shall steal them. If I shan't, I will be punished for all eternity, Jack thought. <laughs> Moo-esque dialogue. Why is he talking like that now? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sir. <laughs> So he slipped out of the cupboard, leaped to the ground, grabbed the table leg, and climbed to the top. He saw the bag of grain, but it was cinched by Tiger's cold, unmoving claw. So as quietly as a mouse, he moved Tiger's huge claw out of the way and grabbed the sack. Why is it cold? He's just asleep. He's not dead. <laughs> uh, he moved Tiger's huge claw out of the way and grabbed the sack. He headed out of the castle and climbed down the beanstalk and inside. Mother, look what I found at the top of the cornstalk. Grain! Dak panted. You did? Oh, you oh so clever boy. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's talking like Moopy now. <laughs> yeah. Mother Quack said, See, I told you the corn was magic, Dak said. I guess you were right. But we need to cut it down, Sue, Mother Quack said, only to be interrupted by Dak. No, there were many things up there that I must get. I must steal them, Dak interrupted. Mother I Quack begged him to stay, them. but he refused. The next day, Dak climbed the corn stalk, found a stone, and hit the door. This tiger opened the door a crack. I'm perfectly sorry, but you can't come in. A French duck like you came and stole my brother's giant bag of grain. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> I hate when that happens. I hate when a French duck steals my giant bag of grain. If he finds you, he'll surely devour you. This tiger exclaimed. Oh, please let me in. I'm oh so hungry and tired, Dak pleaded. So Miss Tiger let him in, fed him some grain, and Dak fell off the table accidentally. Grrr, he heard from another room. Not again, Miss Tiger cried. Miss Tiger threw him into the cupboard this time. Ow, Dak whimpered quietly. Fee fi fo roar! I smell the blood of a Japanese! He said and stopped. <laughs> he, it, I think he was huh? gonna say Japanese duck, but he. Why, would, why a Japanese duck? <laughs> he just stopped in Japanese. <laughs> 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 he said, but oh, stop. No. Oh, no. Okay, here's... It, it'll make more sense in a second. I smell the blood of a Japanese. He said, but stop. He sniffed. French duck. He corrected himself. Oh, That's it was what it a was. joke. Oh, it was a, it was a set up punchline. Okay. Yeah, I was doing comedy even back then, and it was great. Mm -hmm. He corrected himself. Stop saying false things. Relax, tiger. Today it is your prey cooking. Today you get elk. 
as Tiger said. Mmm, elk, Tiger thought. Once elk was done, Tiger tore it apart like tissue paper. What? This is like the longest story ever. This, this is like we're going on like page seven at this point. <laughs> he called for his two more goods when he was done devouring. Miss Tiger brought them in, but they were locked in cages. Play, Tiger yelled. It'll be dang, dang, quackity. The guitar. Oh my God. I was pulling some shit on this page. So on this page, the bottom half is circled. And at the top, it says it, it, it essentially is claiming the bottom half of this was my free writing homework. And it was just me, like, just continuing this story. That's bullshit. That shouldn't count. That was not an original story. Diddle dee dang dang quack dang dee, the guitar played. Tiger was knocked out. Now is my chance, Dak thought. With no str str straggy? With no straggy, Dak hopped out <laughs> of the cupboard, but he slammed right into the door. It's locked, Dak said, surprised. He thought how to get out, and then he remembered his cousin Pecker. Not a good name. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> Oh boy. The next page is not Dak and the Cornstalk. Um, I don't I don't even know if it's in this book, but I remember the second half of Dak and the Cornstalk was really, really long. Uh Damn. Should, I keep, should I keep going? We're only like halfway through the, the book. There are more stories. The however, the entire book is not filled. There's a lot of empty pages at the end. Chat says yes. It's your stream. I mean, are you guys up to hang out for a bit longer? Yeah, I'll stay until I feel like okay. I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> Damn, man. Uh, alien attack. Intro. Oh, well, Such a great day, with no wars and lots of peace. <laughs> There's a Fuck lot yeah. of peace. I've got an idea. World peace. All right. What World is that peace. in a sky? <laughs> what is that in a sky? It is a frisbee. No CD. No. It is a UFO. Real story. Unbelievably fun object. <laughs> what? <laughs> Unbelievably fun object. I mean, United Falling Objection. What? Here is what I mean. Unidentified flying object approaching. Take evasive actions. Bend your stations. Go, 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 the general said when he came. Everyone was running in circles, looking for the emergency escape pods. Lock down the houses, the general yelled. I am an army troop who is marching in the scene. Troop number one, man a tank, the general said. <laughs> okay. That's the end. That's the end. Oh, fairy tale continued. So oh, I, great. So I'll, I'll thank you, wine drinker, for the tier one sub. I'll start off where we left off. I remember my cousin Pecker. He was a woodpecker, and Dak was part woodpecker too. So he started pecking at the door, and soon there was a huge gap in it. He leaped out and started for the table leg and climbed up it. He got on leg. the table and remembered that the goods were in cages. He had an idea. He ran over to the cage lock on the human and started pecking it. It soon broke free. He picked up the miniature human, well, at least he tried to. He headed around the castle and found a sack. He went back on the table and stuffed the human in there and went to the cornstalk. He ran and ran, but he ran too far. He fell and fell right near the bottom. He gripped a slippery vine. Just a vine hanging off the clouds? Don't worry. Uh, no, off the stalk. I yes. guess, but like a That's corn not really how stock corn works, vines. Whatever. Phew, you know. at least if I fall now, the impact will be smaller, Dak said. <laughs> I'm always <laughs> saying that. <laughs> Dak said. He hopped, did a few flips, and landed. <laughs> Why did he do flips? That's fucking awesome. Dak Fuck is it, the he's already there, protagonist. Right? He, he, he hopped, did a few flips, and landed on the ground safely. He ran into the house and called to Mother Quack. Mother, look what I have! A human that coughs silver eggs! You did? You are very clever. Good to the bone. What a good boy, Mother Quack said cheerfully. Can't we just cut it, Mother Quack said, only to be interrupted by Dak? Sports. No, Mother. There is still one object I must retrieve. So he climbed to the top of the stock the next day. He was startled when he saw a humongous wall circled the castle. He tried to climb it. But he fell. He just remembered that he was part. Huh? <laughs> he remembered that he was part Tasquacdo bird. What? T A E. Oh! Tai Tai Squack Do Taekwondo. He's part Taekwondo bird. 
Oh, oh he focused he likes on the top of the then. wall and ran up it. Okay, he did a karate wall. Karate run Yo, up the wall. Yo, sick. <laughs> uh, right next to Ty Splack Doe Bird, the teacher writes, I'm not sure I understand this. <laughs> yeah. I don't blame you. I'm surprised. I can't believe I figured that out. That I decoded my childhood scrawls. This is we're on page 16. Kingdom Hearts 2? Jack's not gonna cut a building in half. He landed on the other side and headed towards the castle, but he was blocked by a metal wall. I'm, I'm running out of ideas. Uh, yep. A, he was blocked by a metal wall, blocked by another metal wall. Confused, he walked to the doorstep. In seconds, the doorstep split in two. He fell into a cloud bot created with more metal, and two was closing it, and he was a ting. What is I, I think I got like tired or something. This might have been when I started like falling asleep. He flew out, but he did it because he could fly. He was high in the sky. You were getting tired he, of riding. He flew uncontrollably. I don't know why I didn't just stop. You're losing me. Me too. This this story sucks, dude. He was he flew uncontrollably. He stopped flying and he flipped back into reality. He was in the castle. Deja vu. He thought. I would like to be a wolf because that's not the same. <laughs> and maybe, maybe I was on the road to being a furry and I just like went off of it at some point. Deviated. Okay, no, 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 no. The project was what animal would you like to be? Yeah. But it was a wolf. That's, that's not that unusual. I would like to be a wolf because they have strong aggression. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> All right. Well, that's a weird way to put it. That, I would that, also that like tracks. to be a wolf because they have a piercing howl that rips through the sky. Another reason is I can run through the woods with mind-bending agility. Huh? <laughs> Why did I write huh? But it, like, huh? it says that and just says huh? And then, they, then he, it keeps going. I also would like to you be knew a wolf what you would do in the future. Because can leap very high and pounce like tigers. Another reason is wolves are related to dogs, which makes them canines. And they are my favorite species of canines. I wrote K9, K-9, like the number. Uh, <laughs> if I could pick any ranking of wolf, it would be the pack leader, because they would tell the pack which formation to attack in and get the most food. Okay. All right. I think right. I'm going to bed. I need to stop, too. I'm getting tired. That's, that's good. <laughs> we have but more. But the thrilling conclusion. That we have more at the end of Dak and the Beanstalk. You can finish you, the stories. Tune in next, next time. time we read stories for the Black Storm Part 2, The Gate. Uh, <laughs> what was Part 1? I don't know. Did that, that happen? I'm not sure if it's in here. I'm just like looking through. Uh, you, you Tune in for 1510 through 1545. Uh, hibernation. I'm reading the different titles. Uh, the Black Storm sure. Part 1 is here. Very well. Nice. Harry Potter. No, that's not Harry. It, I'm talking about watching the movie. Uh, what else? I don't know. There's a lot more stories. We will definitely read the rest of this book on a different stream. But I need to wrap this up. Uh... Jack, Dak and the Beanstalk may or may not be continued. I have no idea. Um, <laughs> it never got continued. Was no, that... I, okay. I have a question, though. Was that... Was all of that story, like, for something? Or did I, you just... You just did that. So I remember finishing the story. I feel like we we might have been tasked with like one of our creative writing stories, like turning it into a bigger story. Like I see, I see. And it yeah. was a bigger project, and I made it really, really, really fucking long, and my handwriting was really fucking big. So like, yeah, I I, I eat through these pages super fast. But I specifically remember doing the end of Dak and the Beanstalk out of the book, and I'm not sure if it's here. I don't actually know if we'll get the end of Dak and the Beanstalk. Oh the no, Dark well, has a good maybe idea. we'll, we'll finish have to rewrite it. it. Well, I will pump as much of it into AI Dungeon as possible. That's what I, I was will, gonna I'll say. I'll do it off stream, but before the stream, I will transcribe the whole thing into AI Dungeon, and then we will we'll see the real ending. That's gonna take a long time. <laughs> yeah, but it won't take that long. That'll, that'll take me like an hour, maybe. Yeah. All right. Ooh. Can someone please tell me where this music comes from? This song is from Capcom vs. SNK2. It's called True Love Making. Uh, let's wrap up. Well, that was a great hour and a half of Wii Sports there at the end. <sighs> yeah. I wasn't reading for an hour and a half. No, you weren't. I don't know how long Close to an hour, maybe. It's like an hour. 
let's click on this. Was that only an hour? I don't know, but it was a while. That was fun. I haven't read those stories in years. Uh, how do I roll credits? It makes me want to find my Glover journal. I gotta I, go. Well, here's the thing. Even if you don't down. find it, I have every picture from your Glover journal saved. <laughs> That's true. You at saved first, all of mine. Because it's first, amazing. I thought it's, it was so hard. It's better than mine. Trog's, because Trog's, Trog's journals are from when he was in like second grade or something. Like he was way younger. Yeah, I was way younger. I was. I, I think that might have been first grade even. First or second. Trog loved bloopers. You like I did bloopers? Love bloopers. <laughs> yeah, like movie bloopers. That's so Every funny. kid loves bloopers. I, I want to go, so go on a date clean. and like we're talking about our interests. I'm into bloopers. Yeah, I love bloopers. Uh, I love bloopers. You ever see that those things in the movie where they like mess it up and they have to do it again? I love oh, those. Man. That was fun.